Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Christian. I am a trainer here uh, at Inside Real Estate with our KV Core line of products. And today we have a special guest speaker, Heather, who's one of our wonderful KV Core coaches. Uh, she's absolutely on fire with everything that she's going to be showing you guys here today. Uh, some of these tools I'm actually going to be learning about as well. So I'm kind of in for a treat. Uh, but for the majority of you and everyone listening in, uh, this is a next level strategy overview. So this is kind of after the basics of KV Core. So if some of you are still maybe a little bit uneasy or, or unaware of how these things work, don't worry, I'll, I'll make sure to point you in the right direction. But for now, I'm gonna let Heather take it away. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to chat those in or raise your hand. Hey there, Heather. Hi. So we actually had a request um, on making Facebook ads for things that were not um, specific to listings or lists of listings, such as programs like a lease to own programs or like a zero down program or things like that, that maybe you have with like a third party um, partner or lender. Um, one of those would be like um, Home Partners of America. I know that they um, work with a lot of people and they have um, basically you know, it's like a rent to own situation. Like they buy the house and you like rent mm. it from them and whatever. And so I know a lot of people have these, or maybe it's like a, um, like a homes for heroes situation where you're, or something to do with the military or, or first responders. There's lots of those kinds of programs. And um, what I get asked a lot is how do I do, how do I run an ad for something like that? And um, what I found in running, I've run a lot of Facebook ads. And what I found is that if you offer somebody information about a certain program, your cost per lead is gonna be pretty high and um, you might not see the results that you want. So in order to do an ad for this kind of thing, I like to get sneaky about it. <laughs> and basically I'm, I want to offer them something more immediate. So whenever you're running an ad, and I always say this all the time, it's a tit for tat situation. Your offer of whatever you're offering them has to be good enough that they want to give you their information um, when you're running a Facebook ad like this. And so if you say, oh, do you want more information? They're just kind of like, eh, information. But if you say, would you like a list of homes that qualify for this program and they can shop those homes immediately, that will get you a much higher click-through rate, will get you a much higher, um, will get you a lower cost per lead if you do it that way. And so and people say to me, well, with Home Partners of America, pretty much anything will qualify and that's okay. They don't know, need to know that. <laughs> so basically um, what you can do is you can go to KB Core and you can say, um, you can make your squeeze page. So you can make your list of qualifying homes. And a lot of, like I said, a lot of these will be almost everything on your MLS. Some of them might be, um, they have to be a single family or they have to be at least X amount or under X amount, or maybe the parameters are, they can't be a mobile home or whatever it is. So whatever um, you, whatever the kind of the high level qualifying stuff for these programs are, that's what you wanna be able to do. And so you're going to go to your lead engine and you are gonna make a squeeze page. Uh, where's my page? I'll oh, just do coaching and engagement. Um, and so let's say that, no, thank you. Hmm. Did you make yourself inactive there, Heather? Do you know? <laughs> Did I make myself what? Inactive. You know how inactive. sometimes when uh, your account gets met, made inactive, you lose your site? Oh. Um, yeah, see, it's it, it shows as your team site there. Well, shoot. Hang That's on a second. Bummer. Hang on just a minute. I never use my own. I'm always in somebody else's. <laughs> yeah, so while, while you're looking that up, Heather, um, I, I thought you brought up a really interesting point, though, uh, with the fact of like basically setting up niche ads, uh, you know, for offering that information. And it's a good point that you brought up. What you're offering is something that they want to offer their info for. It's mm -hmm. uh, one of those pieces that I always bring up in like a landing page or something like an ad that you create. I think it's a, always a good reflection to ask yourself or if you were in that position, what would you want to hear? right? If you were an investor, if you were looking to flip homes, what kind of tools would entice you to 
register or offer your information. So uh, bringing that up, did you have anything else maybe to kind of add to that though, Heather? Because I thought that was a, a great way to kind of maybe improve um, upon. No, I will just say that like, whenever you're offering things, the best offer always is either the listing that you're offering or a list of homes. It just, it just seems to me that that ends up being, okay. um, you know, kind of the way to go on that. So let me see. Uh, I can log into this other one. I'm just going to log into Ryan's because <laughs> he's got it set up. Yeah. He's got like eight of them. <laughs> there you go. Um, so I think what uh, the, the short of it is, though, is maybe I, I can summarize this, but uh, building out ads that just give results. Is, is that the best way to put it? Well, right. Yeah. So if you the whatever, like I said, whatever your offer is has to be good enough, you know, and so like just this nebulous more information with mm -hmm. these kinds of programs never does the trick, I That's guess right. is what I'm trying to say. I understand. Um, Christian, do you have one? This not none of these are working. <laughs> uh, with with an ad, I I use either Ryan's no, or, I just or Lauren's. Need a, uh, oh, sorry, go I ahead. Need, I just need a KB Core account to get to get into. Uh, you can definitely bring up uh, mine. It's under my my email there, or uh, you can try Lowe's. I think Lauren has more set up there. So while this is happening, uh, do you want me to go ahead and share my screen and I'll go over uh, some of those, <clears throat> excuse me, some of those uh, squeeze pages and building out the criteria and stuff like that? Yeah, you could do that. I'm, I cannot like, well, here, here's one. Let's see if I can do this. I'm in yours now. <laughs> So let's go back here. So Christian is going to get a new squeeze page today. All right, go. I'm good. I'm sorry. I just I, no worries. No worries. Um, sorry. Okay. So again, do you know? Well, it's down. Uh, I have my MLS based in, in SoCal here, so uh, I can throw a city at you. Uh, yeah. How about Oceanside. Andy, Oceanside. Mm -hmm. There we go. So yeah, you could say let's say Oceanside, and you could also be. Um, specific about it too because it could be your whole MLS that qualifies but maybe you want to really find people who want to buy in a specific area so that's where mm -hmm. kind of the squeeze page comes in and you can make your um, Facebook ad um, wording you know go with something like that so let's say you want to mm -hmm. you want to farm Oceanside or you want to be the person who um, is doing all the homes in Oceanside and so maybe also that it has to maybe it has to be a single family home to qualify and maybe it's, you know, it's a special loan thing where they're like, oh, it can't be more. We can't be more than five. Well, you you probably want to shoot that, that up. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more than 700,000 or something, let's say, mm -hmm. um, or whatnot. And so the rest of this stuff is, is pretty, you don't really have to do because like yeah. I said, it's going to be a general thing. Um, and so when you make this configuration here, it really doesn't matter what you put here because here you're going to put never. And the reason you're going to put never is you don't want them to have to register because they're going to register on Facebook. And it makes people really mad when they sign a Facebook form and they've given you all their information and then they go to the list of homes and they start clicking around and it says, oh, you have to sign up again. And they're like, oh, really again? So I always say if you're doing a Facebook lead form ad, do not make them register again when they get to KB Core. Mm -hmm. um, because they're not registering with this, you know, making a hashtag or a source or anything like that won't matter mm -hmm. because that's not where they're gonna pull this information from. It's gonna pull from the zap that we're sending the lead information from Facebook over into. So, so. so in a basic form, it's basically because they're gonna be registering through the ad. We don't want them to register again. Uh, and right. therefore the information that's associated with this, the source, the hashtag, would never be pulled through, right? Correct. All right. right. You got it. So we're going to generate the link. And so um, we've got this link here. So then we're going to go back over to um, your ads manager in Facebook and you're going to create an ad. Um, okay, well, that's fine. 
uh, why don't we need to publish it? But we'll go, so you've got all these different um, options and we want to get leads almost mm -hmm. always. I'm gonna hit continue. And our new campaign, let's say we're gonna call it, you know, maybe we're doing Home Partners of America. Gotcha. And you always, always, always have to do housing when you're doing these special ad categories um, or it's gonna reject your ad just flat out right. The rest of the stuff I would leave alone. Next. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna decide what you want to happen. And the best way, the best thing you really wanna do is instant forms. Um, there's other things you can do here, but that's not what we're talking about today. So you wanna go instant forms there. Then you're gonna to wanna to choose your Facebook page. Um, do this one here. It's gonna pick somebody, I'll pick my old one. There we go. And then, um, and then you're gonna say, okay, what am I gonna do with my, this stuff you don't have to mess with, but you're gonna say, what am I gonna do with my budget? So I like to do um, a daily budget for these kinds of things, because if you do a set budget and it runs out, then you have to go back and add money or you have to reset all your dates. And so this way, if I don't set an end date and I have my daily budget set like $10 or $20 or whatever it is, once the ad gets approved, um, you'll see it in your list of campaigns and there's a little toggle button. So like you can toggle, you can run this ad forever but you can toggle it on and off when you've got the money to run it. Let's put it that way. Yeah. So let's say, you know, you want to run it for a week, then you can go back in and toggle it off. And then you're like, oh, okay, I need some more leads. You can toggle it back on again. And that way you'll never have to come in and mess with it. Otherwise, if you, you know, set a total budget or you set an end date, you're always going to have to come in and mess with it. Now, the only downside of that is you're going to have to um, remember to toggle it off. It's going to run forever. And you might end up with a big bill from Facebook and be like, what happened? So just keep that in mind. Um, okay, and so then you're gonna do your targeting. And in your targeting, I always like, my favorite targets are, um, first of all, you do your location. So Oceanside, California. And maybe you wanna make it more like 20 miles or, you know, you know your, you know your market best, where are the people living that are going mm -hmm. to be buying in Oceanside? I, I would say you probably want to expand that to about 50 to 100 miles. Well, you can only go to 50. All right, there you go. Um, but if you want to include Riverside, let's say, or Long Beach, then you could just add Long Beach to the list. Gotcha. And, you know, then you've got another 50 miles or something. So you've got that whole, uh, the whole coastline there covered. Um, and like I said, you know your market, you know where those people are living that might buy in Oceanside. Mm -hmm. And so then the age, you can't mess with the age because it's a housing ad. You can't mess with the gender because it's a housing ad, but you can mess with the um, detailed targeting. And it's not going to pull anything that you're not allowed to use. So my top things when I'm making any kind of uh, Facebook ad usually is Zillow. So have these people been on Zillow lately? Hmm, there it is, Zillow. Trulia, um, realtor.com, don't do realtor.com pro, you'll get a lot of agents. <laughs> um, and then house hunting is a good one. And the other thing you might wanna do is mortgage calculator. They've been looking at mortgage calculators or looking for a mortgage loan. Those are all great, um, great ones to do. Now, you have a humongous audience here. And so what you can do is you can narrow that audience down. Now, if you're in the middle of, you know, I'm from Indiana originally, and if you're in, you know, middle of nowhere, Indiana, and you put all this stuff in, you might have a very small audience and you just want to leave it alone. But if you're like in LA and you have this huge audience, then you could narrow it. My favorite thing to narrow by is um, home improvement which actually might not be work well for this ad actually. Just file that away. If you're looking for homeowners as leads, you can't you used to be able to target homeowners and you can't anymore because they're fair housing practices. But I always do home improvement because I find that it gives you um, more homeowners than not because usually people aren't into home improvement if they're renting. But in this case, actually, they probably are already renting 
because um, they're looking to rent to own. They probably don't have a house. So I probably wouldn't do that in this situation, I'm just gonna say. Um, so then I'm going to go next. And then I'm gonna say, okay, I need to do um, an ad. So my favorite ad, my favorite way to make ads is to do video that is square and that is less than 15 seconds long. If you do all those three things, it is gonna play on the majority of feeds. Like these are all the places it can play on. If it's those three, if you have those three things down, it will play almost everywhere. If you don't have that, it, it's gonna play on certain things and not other things because your aspect ratio is gonna be different. And that's not a bad thing. Like if, but I'm just saying, if you want it to play everywhere, that those are the three things you wanna do. Um, and so basically I did a quick um, video and I'm going to remove this and add some video. And I just made this video in Canva and I know we have, um, I know it's on YouTube because I did the, <laughs> I did that um, webinar on how to make um, little videos in Canva for your ads. Um, so I'm not going to go over it here unless maybe we have time and people are really want to see it. Um, and so while that's processing, you're going to you're going to give your primary taxes. So what are you offering people, right? And so you're offering people, um, you know, looking for uh, what to own home. We have an exclusive program to your dreams. And then I always do emojis. I know people think it's whatever, but I there's actually been studies done where um, the not the more emojis you have, but a couple of well-placed emojis definitely help stop the scroll too. A little house on there, a tree. Um, okay, and your headline is short and sweet. What are you offering? I'm offering Lease to own homes. And that's what's going to come up right down here. Lease to own homes. Um, and I'll play you the video real quick. You might not be able to hear the music on it, but. So that's all it is. And it's just kind of, it'll, it'll kind of repeat, but. Anything moving is going to stop your scroll better than a stagnant picture always. So um, you, if you, even if you do go on Canva, you can do like a little five second animation of, of a picture or anything you can do, but you want it to be moving. You want to catch the eye. So Lisa to own homes and the call to action. I always do. You could do get offer. I like to do learn more. I feel like it's just a um, get offer or learn or learn more. Um, I don't like sign up because they feel like they're signing up for something, you know, you want to make it as um, non intrusive as you possibly can. <laughs> so um, you could do get offer. And then, um, and then you're going to create your form. Yes, I understand. So your form is going to be, you know, home, at least to own or something. Um, your intro, I always take the greeting out. It's just one more step for them to have to go through and I don't find that it's helpful most of the time. And then under questions, you're gonna want email. We're gonna trash the first name because KB Core does first and last um, when you're zapping it in. So we're gonna do first name or you're gonna do um, add category contact with the phone number. We want the first name and we want the last name. And you want to pull your first name and last name up to the top. Um, and I know 
it's a little sneaky too, but on certain uh, phones, if they're doing this online, it will cut it off like right here and they don't see that they're actually giving you their phone number. Um, okay, so you keep going down. Your privacy policy is always going to be your, where is Christian? The privacy policy in terms of- No, I know, oh, it's here. Okay, I was just yeah. getting to your website. Sorry, it looked different than what I'm used to. Um, so down here, so you just go to your own website, mm -hmm. and go all the way down to your privacy policy. We have it on every single website. And we're going to copy that. Um, what happened? and go put it here and then your link text could be privacy now some people i think in like texas and there's a couple other places that have to have you know certain disclaimers or something and you can always add it right here and it'll show up there if there's something you're you have to disclaim on your from your mls and then for your headline, you're going to say, um, here's your list of homes. Um, and then your call to action button is view websites. We're sending them to the website that has the list of homes we made. Um, the text is going to be see the list and your link is going to be your link from the squeeze page. So, and by the way, always, always use your long link and not your short link whenever you're putting things on Facebook because Facebook does not like a masked link and sometimes will reject you for that. So they want to know, they want to know what you're doing. And the other thing I think I missed was right here. Yes, uh, and I missed that part. So under questions, you have to tell them how they're how you're using their information. And so I know a lot of people are like, I won't share your information. Don't say any of that stuff. You just have to have something in there to make Facebook happy. So you can say um, um, the list of all. I can spell. I just can't type. Want to own homes. Basically, we're saying you give us your information, we'll give you the list of, of qualifying rent to own homes. Okay. And so when you're done with all of that, then you're going to publish it. And now you've got your lease to own form here. Lease to own form. Yes. Um, so when they sign up, then Facebook's going to collect all that information. And that's why you don't want to make them sign up again when they get to KB Core because your KB Core website, because they've already signed up here. And you're like, okay, great. Now what do I do? Because now these leads are in Facebook, but they're not in KB Core. And that's where Zapier comes in. Again, can't type Heather. Uh, okay. So you want to create your Zap. And so for people who haven't made a Zap before. Basically, Zapier is the app that lets all the other apps talk to each other. It's like a so, universal translator, I think. Yes. Um, so you're going to want to take it out of Facebook, put it into KB Core. So you're going to say, okay, I want Facebook. I want it when I get a new lead. And if you haven't made an account yet, you might want to add one. Um, I'll use mine. And then I'm going to find the form that I just made, which is right here, lease to own. And I'm going to hit continue. Um, we can test it. It's just going to, if there's no, if it hasn't been running yet, though, it's just going to give you dummy information, but that's okay. And hit continue. And then your action is I want to send it to KB Core. So create a contact, choose an account. Uh, have a KB Core account I can use that's not somebody's. I'll do this one. And then, so you're just going to start mapping your fields. So first name goes into first name. 
This is going to be a buyer. Last name, last name. Email, email, cell phone, phone number. And then from here, ah, I'm gonna go down. Here's where you can do that source. So remember before when I was saying, we don't have wanna put the source here because it's not gonna pull because they're not gonna sign up with this link because it's a non-registration link. Um, this is where you could put the source. So the source could be Facebook ad. Um, you know, interested in city could be Oceanside because they are. Um, and this is where you can do it one of two ways. You can either do a city and a price, which will automatically set up a listing alert for them when they come in, or you can set up the listing alert um, by hashtag otherwise. So um, you do all that. And then under note, you can say this lead responded to a Facebook ad for home partners of America. And then maybe you want a hashtag it so that you know that is where they came from. So maybe your hashtag is um, home partners. Nurse. And maybe you want to know that it was from Oceanside. So you can do multiple tags. You just have to use a little piping symbol. Um, home partners, Oceanside. Maybe you want to do lease to own, whatever you want to do. But you have to just lease to, again, I can, I can totally spell it. I just can't so that's basically that little piping symbol. You can do as many tags as you want and then it'll do that. So then you just hit continue and you know, and you can test your test it. And I'm not gonna do that because I'm not sure exactly <laughs> whose KB core account I chose, um, but you know, and, and it'll go in. So then that's what's gonna happen. And that's how you get it over into, um, into KB core from your ad. So that's kind of how you do it for those kinds of things. Does anybody have any questions I can answer or? Yeah, guys, feel free to uh, raise your hands if you have any questions about this. Uh, you can also chat them in if you don't have a mic. Um, but yeah, Heather, you should just go ahead and push that through. I'll get the leads. It's, it's with my account, right? You set that up? I don't think I uh, hooked up your account. I have a, so many people in here that I've bummer. done in the All past. Right. I'm not sure I was just trying to get was. some free leads. That's okay. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, Heather, this was do done through the Facebook ad manager for the majority of it. And then we went through and jumped into the Zapier account, right? So these are two tools that aren't necessarily uh, from KV Core itself, but they integrate with it, right? Yeah. So you have to have a business. So in order to run ads through Facebook, you have to have a Facebook business page and a Facebook. And if you don't have one yet, the, Facebook has changed the way they do things. Mine are really old. And so I, I did it a separate ad account with my business page. But anytime you have a new business page, it's going to actually assign a new ad account to link to that business page is okay. how it's happening going forward. It's happening in a thing called business suite. But if you're old school and you've had it for a long time, it's going to be in your business manager. Okay. Um, did you see here? Uh, is Zapier like, free? No. Yeah. <laughs> In some areas, yes, but not with Facebook, right? Correct. So Zapier is free for Facebook lead form ads. No, um, I know you can. I think you can use API Nation mm. um, to zap them in for free. The problem is, is it is it's my understanding, and the reason I don't use it is because it all you get is name, phone number, email. Like you mm. don't get the note, you don't get the hashtag, you don't get all that other stuff. It's not as as nice of an integration. I think it's like 20 something bucks a month to have um, Zapier, but I gotta say that Zapier does amazing things all over the place. Um, so you can do a ton of stuff with Zapier yeah. that I think it's totally worth it. Uh, Ann Russell did ask, uh, can you show how to make a that video in Canva? I knew did, that was going. You... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure. Um, 
So I adore Canva. Canva is like my go-to for all things. Um, and in Canva, if you go to um, video, Facebook video will make that square video that I was talking about. And here I would just upload, if I were you, making this particular one, I would upload houses that are maybe like their um, homes that you've sold in the past that you have the, you know, the rights to the um, photos for. You can pull, Canva has, you know, stock photos, but I always find that in your area, if you have houses that look like they belong in your area, you're going to get a much better response than stock photos are. So, um, so I might pull over a picture. That one does not good. Let's see. No, yeah. I don't like these. I've got better pictures down here. Let's look. This one. So you say a picture and you'd say, um, then you'd add another picture, maybe another house. You know, three, three or four houses are good. Okay. And so then, oh, let that take up the whole thing. And so then in, um, it's going to kind of flow from one to the next. And then you can put your pop-ups in. So you can say, um, so the way I did this one is I put it down here at the bottom. Yeah. I can't remember what I said, looking for lease to own. So I'm going to do some text. I'm going to make it white. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to make this a little smaller. Maybe I'll make it. And you know, you can do whatever kind of um, Then make I said, it a theme well, yeah. maybe a, for like the holidays, right? What it, you got um, yeah. Veterans Day tomorrow, uh, Thanksgiving coming up. I'm a big fan uh, of Thanksgiving. I think I made this a different font, make it pretty. Um, um, while you're doing that, Veronica uh, Delgado did ask, uh, do you have to be in Facebook business to do this? Uh, I'm guessing that should be the case, but I'm going to state that, yeah, you do. Is that correct, Heather, to, to have a Facebook ad account? I'm not sure what she means by Facebook business. Like you have to have a business, you have to have a Facebook business page mm -hmm. that runs it. The, and then you have to have an ad account. You can run your ads through your personal ad account or through your business ad account. But okay, you have to have so, a business page okay. to run. You can't run it through like your personal Facebook page. Gotcha. It won't allow that if that's the question there. Okay. So then um, I'm say, okay, looking for lease to own. And then I'm just going to take that and copy it, put it on the next one. Um, and I'm going to say search. Our list. Qualifying <laughs> homes. And you might have to make this a little bigger. And then you're going to say, um, or what I said on the rest of it. I, Alan, you're yeah. in the wrong place, my man. <laughs> he's he's asking us to teach him to be artful. I'm not an art teacher. <laughs> I mean, I will say Our it's what what you're doing here. It doesn't seem that difficult. Yeah, no, it's not that hard. I'm with you there, Alan. I I'll, I'll join you in the art class. I'm I'm not that creative. Then what you can do is you can say, 
So we're right at 15 seconds here. Okay. Um, if you weren't, I would make these a little smaller. But then what you can do is you can say, okay, I'm gonna take this part right here. Oops. And I'm gonna animate it. So the one I did before is baseline. I'm gonna animate these. Is Canva free or is Canva? this? Um, so yes and no. Okay. So do you see these little crowns? Uh -huh. That's they a premium. They are the premium stuff. So you can do, they do have free, free ones. So it is free. There's a free version. Okay. And most of the stuff you can do is free, but if you want, you know, it has like extra stuff, a lot of extra stuff, um, a lot of extra graphics and things. And those are the little, um, crown things. So, okay. and then you can choose some audio to go with it. They have all sorts of, um, I don't know if you guys can hear my audio, probably not. A little but bit. <laughs> like, oh, this sounds good. So you just, um, click it and it'll do it. And I screwed that up because I did it twice. And you got to start. So ha make sure your guy is all the way over here to start. Huh. And now I'm going to add it. Um, and so then, oh, I did it again. That's okay. Yeah, I just got to pull it over. So it'll play music while it's going. So then you've got this nice little Or it's cutting this off, so I don't know why that's happening. I might choose a different font for that. But anyway, you get the idea. Um, and then you can just download it. If you go to share, you want to download as an MP4 video, and then you can just upload that video into um, KV Core. But if you don't want to go that far, like you can just do things like um, la la la. Even if you had one, um, one picture, you can animate any picture you want. And they've got all these like different things. So, you know, if you, whatever you wanted to do, um, it's like a five second video or whatever. Um, but you could have put like at least to own, just you want something moving, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like your people are scrolling through when things are moving, that's, it stops them. And it, okay, what am I looking at? What am, I want to read this. Um, so anyway, any other cool. questions? Yeah, this is very helpful, Heather. Thank you for coming yeah, by no and problem. showing this off. I had no idea this entire world existed. <laughs> Everything you showed me here today, I've never seen oh. uh, in full force. I've, I've never seen it all. Yeah, I love Facebook ads, um, especially lead form ads. It's just nice because you get a good, you know, you can run Google ads, and I'm not saying don't because Google ads are great too. Google ads have a much higher intent, but Facebook ads I like because they're pulling that form that you saw is pre-filled with everything from their Facebook own Facebook profile. And all they have to do is hit the button. Like, could they go in and change it? Yes, but most people just kind of click through and you get a good phone number, a good email, um, a good name. Alan, no, no worries, my man. Uh, I think every, everyone's first attempt on this. I, I remember going into Zapier just a couple of years ago, and uh, I think I fried my brain when, when I looked at that. So yeah, Zapier no has some really here. cool stuff. I think maybe what I'll do, I should do one on um, the zaps you can put into your, you can actually trigger zaps in your um, smart campaigns as well. So you should maybe look at uh, the free version of Zapier because I know there there are some places that you can get the leads from, but I don't know which ones. Got to try and look at that up. I'm sorry, say that again? Uh, try, I got to try and look that up. Is uh, the, the list of free Zapier uh, connections. Oh, almost everything in Zapier is free except for, I don't, in fact, Facebook lead forms is probably the one of the, few things I've ever come across that's not. Okay, so it's a smaller free. list then? It's smaller. List. It's just the thing is, is like the number one thing I use it for is Facebook lead forms. So I think most people know? do too. Yeah, for sure. 
but um but it also when you have the paid version you get because if you have the free version i guess that's the other thing if you have the free version you only get a certain number of zaps and when you mm -hmm. pay for it you get more zaps like i have the kind of the different plan i can do 50 zaps and i think like the first paid pant paid plan is like 20 something zaps but the free version is only like three or four app zaps mm -hmm. so like if you want to do a lot with it even though the things are free you can only do so many zaps if that makes sense yeah that one does yeah um, so i mean we could do, do you want to do like a general q a now or be just well yeah guys if if you want to open up the floor uh ask us any questions here um, you know, Heather's definitely more inclined to answer the stuff that we just went over. Uh, however, anything with KV Core itself, we are more than willing to answer for you here today. Uh, but otherwise, if you guys want to head off, if you need to, to jump jump into a next meeting or something like that, you can. Uh, I'll stick around. Uh, with that being said, though, Heather, was there anything else that you wanted to maybe leave everyone with? Um, no, just no? Uh, if I were you, I'd dive into Canva because it's you can do so many things that you can make your own website pages, which would be nice. It seems pretty Without fun. coding. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Violetta, it looks like you have a question there. Did you want to go ahead and unmute yourself? Yes. Hi. Um, okay. I'm first to these meetings. I, I'm not even sure how that works and popped up, just popped up because okay. I didn't realize. Um, anyhow, um, I've got this personal smart number. Uh -huh. I bought, and I'm, I, the reason I got it is because um, I just moved to a new area and my, um, so my current phone is for Atlanta where I've been selling for many years and now okay. I'm in Miami. So I just kind of wanted to have a local number. So I've got okay. that and I wanted to incorporate. Okay, however, so my question is, so how I can use it so, it seems like I'm calling from it. Should I use it from KV Core app in mm -hmm. order for the caller ID to show? Um... So yeah, you you can definitely use uh, the smart number through the app. Okay, but mm -hmm. another way that you can use it is through the desktop. Okay, uh -huh. uh, so in in the general version there, uh, Heather, would you want to share your screen or or? Do you want me to go ahead and take over? I'm, let me see if I can look, because I'm calling from my my phone, so I'm kind of not prepared. I just okay. kind of wanted to hop in. And no worries. Maybe next time, I don't know how often you have this, uh, these lives, these uh, Q&As. So, so we have live Q&As every day, Monday through Thursday, uh, at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. So oh, yeah, okay. feel free to jump in tomorrow if you just want to hold off. But uh, yeah, definitely take a look at that that smart number because you can call from the desktop here and just make okay. the call because what it'll do is it'll reach out to your phone, your okay. your okay. agent cell phone. And okay. then when you pick up, it's going to state that it's connecting you to that no. third party. All right. Uh -huh. So uh, and then it, it should ring my cell phone and then I can yeah. call. It's going to okay, ring your ready. cell phone first. You pick yeah. up. Once you pick up, it's then going to ring that client, that lead. Gotcha. Right. gotcha. But that, that's so nice you guys are doing. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, we, we're definitely powering up here. We want you guys to come in and ask questions. Yeah. And also, um, Heather, could you point them towards the live training calendar uh, while you have your screen pulled up there? Yeah. Just because you guys can check out what we have throughout the week there. Uh, back yeah. on the dashboard, you'll be able to find it uh, with... With this, guys, the live training calendar, I host some of these webinars. Uh, Heather's one of our special guest speakers. I'm sure she'll be back. Uh, mm -hmm. But we also have Kelly and uh, Ryan and, and Brett here all training you guys throughout the week. Uh, if you're looking for a good place to start for everyone here, we do mm -hmm. recommend on Mondays we have an agent quick start guide, uh, the part one in, in starting it all off. That's a part of setting it up. And then you can follow mm -hmm. it every day there on after. Uh, we have part two on Tuesday, part three on Wednesday, and part four on Thursday. So we, we want you guys to jump into this and learn it as fast as possible. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, if you need to take your time with this, if you want to just jump into one of these next level Q and A's as well, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I just, uh, you know, there is, yes, so much. You're, you're very welcome. No worries, Violetta. 
we, we did get so, some other questions there. Yeah. Uh, go for it, Heather. So um, we had some questions about the number of zaps. So when you, the number of zaps, a zap is what we set up. I want, when this happens, I want this to happen. So when I get a new lead in Facebook from this particular lead form, I want it to go into KV Court. And so if you had another ad running, then it's a different lead form. That's going to be a different zap. You know, that would be another zap. So the number of zaps you get, that's there. The number of leads would be under task. So task is the number of times the zap triggers. So like if you got 500 leads, then you would it would be 500 tasks. I've never had a problem bumping up against my tasks. Mm. I've only had a problem bumping up against the number of zaps I could have, um, cool. if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then Veronica asked, how did you start the Facebook ad? I'm, I'm a little fuzzy on what exactly you're asking there. Like, how That's did a, I? Yeah, how did, how, maybe how do you access your Facebook ad account? Was that what you were referring to, Veronica? Yeah, so if you go to Facebook, well, see, I'm going to show you how I do it. That's the little bitty problem with Facebook right now is that um, if you're newer to Facebook, you're going to have a thing called actually it is business suite. Um, but <laughs> you have to do it. Oh, I'm on Facebook business and I don't know where to click for the ads. So okay. I'm going to say this is it is if you go to because Facebook is doing this weird thing where if you go into business suite, it lets you make an ad but doesn't it lets you make a lead form ad without actually making the form. And so you can't direct where it lands and I don't like it. Um, and so what I always say, if you want to get to your ads manager, if it's not, if ads manager isn't showing here, which a lot of times it's not, um, yeah, you have the business suite, painful. Um, if you just go, when you're in facebook.com, just use this link right here. Just make sure you're signed in and I'll put it in the chat. Um, and if you go to that link while you're signing to Facebook, you should get to your ads manager, if that makes sense. Um, the other way you can get there is it's really convoluted. Um, but like if you're in business suite, it's going to say, oh, do you want to make an ad? And the way that the ads work in business suite is not the same as the ad that I just made you. Um, so you can go to what's called more tools and then you go to your, they don't have here, your ads manager, I think from there should take you up into, into here as well. Yes. So if you're in business suite, do more tools and then ads manager, and you can do it this way. Um, or you can just use that link. Did I miss any other questions? Uh, I'm just going to answer Ivy's question real quick. Uh, Ivy, yes, these trainings are open to every user of our platform. So for any uh, individual agent, company, brokerage, the whole shebang, doesn't matter. You tell everyone, come in, jump into these meetings, and uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, ask away. Um, we did record this video. What, it goes to YouTube, doesn't it, Christian? It This video is going to go to YouTube. Um, however, we are also going to have it on this Google Sheet here. I am going to share this with everyone, okay? This doc is available to you guys, and it also includes some previous webinars. Uh, maybe jump into our next level strategy that, with the recording from yesterday with Kelly or the day before that with Annalisa. And uh, also we have our recording links for Agent Quick Start Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, and Part 4 there as well. So a bunch of training material is right there on that document that I just shared with you guys. But feel free, jump into it, review it for later, or save it for a rainy day. <laughs> All righty. Heather, uh, I do want to, once again, thank you for being here today. I appreciate yeah, everything that you. you've shown off. This is really cool. Uh, you're very welcome there, Alan. Thank you for being here, everyone. Absolutely. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, you stay safe. You be healthy. And uh, as Kelly says, go sell a house. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Have a good Bye, one. Bye, everybody. Thank you.